What's up guys, this is Craig from Bass Lessons Melbourne again. Um, for today's short lesson, I'm going to be talking about this left hand muting technique that I used in that slap line there. So, I mean, most of the time we're muting with our left hand, right? If we're talking about ghost notes. Um, but we use the right hand to create the note. In this technique, the left hand actually creates the note that we need. So check this out, I'm going to play an open E. And then I kind of whack my fingers down onto the fingerboard. Now the key with this is that you want all your fingers to go on at the same time. If you just get one finger on, then you get that, you, you might get some harmonics ringing out. So you want all your fingers to act um, as like a unit. So what you want to practice is open E and just, you kind of have to give it a bit of, bit of welly <laughs> with that left hand. And then you're going to be, so the pattern is going to be thumb, left hand mute, thumb. Then you can add in a pop and this is all just going to be muted after that open E. So the right hand pattern is just and the left hand is filling in that extra eighth note. So we get one or, or a sixteenth, one E and a. Then you can start adding in some notes on that pop. So for example, in this the funk key of E, right? We can grab that flat seven on the uh, seventh fret of the G string, which is a D. Or we could grab the minor third, which is the G, which is fifth fret on the D string. And it saves us having to do lots of movement with the thumb, that left hand, just gives us a bit of a bit of a break with that right hand so our lines can flow a little bit better. The hard thing is the synchronization and also getting just a good muted sound with that left hand. You might have heard, you know, like Mark King or whatever do that kind of, like, I think some people call it the machine gun triplet. So it's a cool little um, uh, technique to add in to your lines, either as that, um, the kind of... Or as just like a, a fill, a little flare. Ah. 